Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I hope you've all been staying at the lab, staying safe, and staying well with your families. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ek Adijua, is Olua Kemi Osege. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming uh, for logging back onto my channel. Welcome back. Thank you to those of you that have joined us or subscribed in the last few days or few weeks. Thanks to those of you who like and comment on our videos. Thank you. We really appreciate you. God bless you. In any case, I am here again today to do a video on how I make my very special, moist and very delicious coconut sponge cake. I... I find that um, this flavor, when I serve it, it, I receive great feedback on it. It's a very popular flavor on the on all the flavors I do. So I thought I'll, teach, I'll do a short video of how I do my own or I, how I bake my own coconut uh, flavored cake. Oops, this is my ingredients laid out. I'm going to mention them out to you. Okay, so I've got my ingredients laid out. I've got um, in here I've got 200 grams of self raising flour. I've got um, 160 grams of caster sugar. And I have got 180 grams of um, soft um, room temperature butter. And I have got 67 grams of desiccated coconut. I've got 200 ml of coconut milk. I've got um, four medium sized eggs. I've got a uh, flavoring and um, vanilla flavoring flavors. Uh, flavoring, I'll be using 0 0.5 teaspoon full of that. That's half a teaspoon. And of course, I've got an um, almond extract flavor. Again, I'm going to be using 0 0.5, that is half a teaspoon of that. And I've got salt. I'll be using half a teaspoon of that also. So these are my ingredients all laid out. So let's start baking or let's start mixing. And I've also, I've also got my measuring spoons here. So to start with, I am now going to measure up my half a teaspoon of salt into my Soft raisin flour. I will not be using baking powder for this uh, recipe because my flour is um, half a teaspoon. I mean, sorry, my flour is um, self raising. So I will not be using um, baking powder. So just whisk that together. And then I'm going to sieve my flour. I usually love to sieve my flour three times. This is to incorporate air into the flour and into the batter, which in turn makes the cake fluffy, improve the texture of the cake. So you know, I've already preheated my oven to gas mark 160 degrees centigrade. That is um, gas mark three. That's sorry, gas mark three, 160 degree centigrade. The final whisk. Again, to incorporate air into the dry ingredient and thereby making the cake fluffy. And this also helps to get rid of any um, any external or wanted um, particles in the flour as well. At least if there, for instance, if your flour has gone dried or something like that, uh, and there's some colour uh, particles in there, in there, you'll be able to get it out of the sieve. But I don't have that. I don't have that problem because my flour is always at the best condition okay so that's my dry ingredients put out i'm going to set aside i'm now going to move on to my eggs i usually love to separate my eggs i don't I, 
most of my recipe cake recipes i separate my eggs so i'm using egg um yolks in the butter while mixing the butter and then whisk the egg whites separately and fold it in at the end of the mixing process again this incorporates air um, into the cake and allows it to be fluffy anyways um i need to separate my eggs and use Following that, my eggs, my egg yolk and my egg whites are completely separated. So I'm just removing some unwanted particles from my egg yolk. Unwanted stuff, you know, when you break egg, the egg yolk has some kind of clumpy or clumpy I, I don't like it so I just uh, remove them and then allow my egg yolk to be plain completely watery or oh, yes I'm just removing those and there it is and that's my egg prepared and set aside now I will now move on to the mixing of my butter and my sugar or creamy some people call it mixing some people call it cream so that's what I'm going to we're going to move on to next okay the next thing we're doing now is the creaming of the butter and the sugar so I've got my stand mixer here which is going to be utilized for this purpose that's my 180 grams of butter going in the stand mixer my 160 grams of baking sugar and that's going to allow that to whisk that's going to whisk for at least as you whisk you have to um wipe down or or, or, or scrape down the bowl that's going to whisk for at least um, 10 minutes to allow the butter and the sugar to properly incorporate. So let's go. I thought I was recording, but it was not um, recording. And during that time, I have added half a teaspoon of um, almond extract and also added half a teaspoon of my vanilla extract. So my flavors. I've got both gone in half a teaspoon each and I the my mixture now had been mixing for about um, five minutes and in that period of time I have wiped down my continuously wiped down my bowls to ensure that all um, the parts of, to ensure that all of the mixture is captured and none of them is um, on mixed so as you can see also you can see that my butter is um, it's no longer yellow or pale yellow it's it's practically a uh, cream in color so i will continue to mix now to incorporate those flavors flavors i've just added before i add my egg yolks and in the at, at intervals of that mixing obviously i will wipe down my bowl all right my butter uh, uh that is my mixture of um butter and sugar is now properly mixed it is creamy pale and um properly cream so to say so i'm now going to be adding my egg yolks one yolk at a time and then mix my egg yolk can you see yes oops that one dropped in My egg yolks are all gone in and all properly. I'm now going to mix them again to properly incorporate them. And then that will be 
and, and then we move on to the next process now my eggs my egg yolks are properly incorporated and properly mixed into there so i'm now going to be adding my flour that's my mixture of uh, salt and self raisin flour and uh, alternating it with my 200 mils of uh, coconut milk This is what I do slowly to avoid splatter all over the place. Now I'll be adding my coconut milk, adding all of them. And whilst I am doing that, in another stand mixer, I will be in another stand mixer. I will be uh, mix whisking my egg whites. Remember? So pour in there. Once I'm doing that, for my whisk, I'm using the whisk attachment for this one. The whisk attachment for this one that's the whisk attachment whereas for this one i'm using the paddle attachment it is very important the paddle attachment so i will be whisking my eggs now to bring it to um a peak egg yolks egg white now to bring it to a peak consistency whilst i'm doing this at the same time I will now be adding the final portion of my flour. It is important that this stage meets very, at least at a slower pace than before, so that you don't over mix your flour. So you only mix until it is just properly incorporated. You only you're mixing just to properly incorporate the milk and the flour. As soon as that's achieved, you're you're done. I think I'm done now. I just need to wipe down the probe one final time. That's it. That's my um, batter completed. We will now move to the final, next and final stage of the process. Yes, I have my batter here now. My completed batter and obviously also I have my picked egg whites and my desiccated coconut. So I'm going to add my desiccated coconut and pour gently. Also, half of the pit um, egg yolk, I mean, sorry, egg whites, and then fold and fold them into the mixture. Coconut mixture done. Now to pour it in the pan 
and off it goes in the oven. I'll be using cake loaves full of teas already lined for this um, process to bake this um, cake. So that's what I'll be using this time around. without any excess bubbles in the batter and it will be going into the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes as I stated earlier gas max 6 I think that's about 160 degrees centigrade for about 45 to 30 to 45 or upwards of um, one hour or until when you insert um, a skewer inside in the center and it comes out clean then your cake is baked all right, see you in a bit. Hello again, welcome back. Well, this is um, a completed um, coconut cake. I made it in the form of loaves. So it is all done. It is now completely cool now. You can see how fluffy it looks. That is my coconut cake loose. Can you see how fluffy it is in there? And I'm sure it tastes amazing. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much for being with um, me tonight. Um, and thank you for staying to the end. As you can see, it is amazing. It looks so amazing and it looks so tasty. And it, I can show you it tastes so good as well oh, at least I, 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 if, if I say so myself and, I'm, and this is not even word of mouth that I say myself those that have had it they come back with great feedback too so try it and let me know what your experience is try my recipe I'll drop the details down and if you enjoyed if you like whatever it is I've done in any of this video please comment thumbs up Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything you thought, oh, I could have done differently, please, uh, I would appreciate your feedback as well. I'll bring them on. Let's see what you have, and let's your, let's hear, read your thoughts on this. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Love always. Please stay safe, stay well, and stay cool. Stay happy. Thank you. Bye. Take care. God bless you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.